Good morning, everybody. This is what I wake up to. Kisses from that little dog. This is what we're waking up to. It's about 8.30 in the morning. We're going to get up, get moving, get up here, get checked in, and get this load unloaded here in Fort Myers. Pick up our load somewhere around here. I'll find out soon. And we will be getting home for my birthday tomorrow in Georgia. Say good morning to everybody. You know we're in Florida when you see stuff like this. And yes, I am looking for bass. Just real quick. We're going to get her her potties. Where'd she go? She's over there in the distance about 12 o'clock. This is what we parked to last night. It's actually really pretty. I don't know what kind of trees those are. Those are kind of different. That is some pretty good looking water. There, you know, being in Florida, there's probably some bass in here somewhere. Peacock bass or something. They always got something going on over here. But we are just gonna wake up, get our potties going. We got a few minutes. This thing unloaded and then we get our load going home. But there we are parked right there. We're just gonna walk the bank real quick and just see what we see. We'll be right back, little dog. And this is what it's like for a driver to check in. You gotta find where the receiver or the shipper office is and then park out of the way which we did a decent job of that parking out of the way get on in here and let them see what load you are what appointment time you got and then they got to get you find you a door and you go on in man it is sunny and beautiful out here it feels so good to be down here hey little dog what do you think about it? You agree? I would say that you agree. You crazy dog. Let's go get in this. All right. So that that door right there, we got to get in that that furthest door over there. That's what we're gonna do. So we got to get the setup. This is the setup. That way you get that trailer back out like that. Put those blinkers on so people know you're backing up. And we get on in that thing. Open those doors right now. Guys to open those doors right now. There we go. There we go. We hauling top classified, top secret materials. You can't know where they are. You can't know where we're at. You just can't. And then when I come back, I gotta get the tires on these things. And then I gotta get the, uh, the chocks under the wheel. Otherwise, they know, because it's all hooked up to an electric system. So these you can't you can't cheat these. You can't be lazy and not do it. You actually got to do it. And they will not unload you if you don't do it. You'll sit there for a while. Yes, we have to come outside and enjoy the weather while we get unloaded. We got to enjoy the sunshine and the beautiful weather. Got to, got to, got to. Molly, you six, 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 All right, we actually stayed out the entire time while we got unloaded, which we normally don't do, but it was just so beautiful out here. Go ahead and do it. I think we're pretty much ready. We're gonna pull forward. I'm gonna go grab those chalks, pull forward. Come on, Molly. Get this dog in the truck. She wants to go say hi to those people again. You guys to get in the truck. We gotta go. And then pull forward, close the doors, and about two miles away, we're gonna pick up our next load. We're heading home for the birthday. Birthday day, birthday boy, birthday man tomorrow. Birthday man. All right, so I finished up up there. Now I gotta slide my tandems. 
but that has been a problem because these tandems don't want to slide and I've been having to hit them and mess with it yeah screw this trailer I'm not not really a fan the doors are the, door, the doors can be difficult and the biggest thing is the daggum tandems just don't want to don't want to slide so you got to do is hit these pins with a hammer and that is not always going to work it didn't work for me earlier it's worked for me before i might have to pull forward and rock it and get it to slide that's what i had to do earlier i think that's what made it work last time real pain in the ass we've had a few other pains in the ass lately but earlier throughout the day but in the last couple hours but hey at least it's a beautiful day and we're getting the fuck out of here. So we're back at the entrance to the facility. At this place, you get loaded, do what you need to do, and then you got to come circle back around to the entrance and you got to hit the scales again. Now, they don't, uh, they don't do the axle weights, so I won't know if I'm overweight per axle. So I still have to go hit another scale to make sure that I'm legal. But as far as the gross weight, that's what they're concerned about. That means I'm a heavy load. They want to make sure that I'm not overweight. But I still have to go check at a truck stop and see if I have, um, if I'm not overweight on one of the axles. So we'll be doing that soon, as soon as we get out of here. But we got to do this. Then we got to circle all the way back around. Um, and I need to. I don't even have my GPS stuff set. I was working on stuff. Like I was busy. Uh, it was kind of a pain in the butt. I just had some setbacks. I had to deal with some stuff. Um, business related and stuff it's just it's just a, it's just a pain it's just a pain so we're gonna get through here and then i'm gonna stop up here i think i'm gonna check out this little pond over here it's got bass and a gator in it i'm gonna check it out and get my gps together and get my mind together and then we'll hit the road first we got to hit that scale to make sure that we're good on the axles Hey there can, can I help you hey beyond all the BS the business stuff not really going my way yet still having to work through some stuff it does feel very good to be in sunny Florida it almost makes you want to live here when you don't get to experience warm weather like this it's pretty nice I can definitely understand why people retire here and I got a little dog that loves on me I got a little dog love on we gotta go little dog. we got to go we got to go so uh, we come back around actually scale didn't have enough so I had to pull back around and they had to throw a little bit more back in the trailer after I opened the doors for them and went up to the office now we got to go back to the scale and see if it's enough and then we got to I think we got to come back here again I think and sign out then I got to go hit a legal scale to make sure my axles are good so beyond all the BS I do feel very good though we'll be home soon so you won't be a truck driver you got to remember that beyond all the great stuff, there is bullshit you're going to have to deal with. I'm so immune to it these days, it just rolls right off. And part of it, told you about the door. These doors are really finicky, some trailers not so much. But these, this trailer is uh, beginning to be a pain in the ass. Got to be on like really level ground to be able to close these doors like i said some trailers are different some are not a problem some are more finicky we got it let's continue with the next step of this marathon hey but i love it baby man it feels so good out here it feels so damn good and i know i'm gonna be home soon i'm getting my business and personal affairs in order hopefully god is good we'll see what do you think what do you think hey 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 all right so we drove like what like eight hours straight or seven hours straight and we made it into georgia we are already into byron georgia which is a little bit south of macon so we've only got about a little less than two hours to get there we're not going to have the clock to get there tonight we ran into some traffic uh, a wreck and a good bit of construction traffic so 
we're just taking a 30 minute break that gives us uh after that we'll have another hour and a half that we can run right now we've only got 15 minutes so once we complete that 30 minute break per the dot regulations we get a little bit of extra time and we'll get enough time to where we can get on the other side of rush hour traffic in the morning that's the goal we want to avoid the rush hour traffic i'd rather not start my birthday tomorrow in rush hour traffic which is what would happen if we didn't push it to the max of our clock today um so we're gonna try to avoid that but i've got her food ready i'm gonna feed her then i got me some uh found me a place here where i could pull out and get some chick-fil-a right off the interstate worked out pretty good uh I'm going to go ahead and tell you this is going to be really, really good. I'm looking forward to it right here uh, off of exit 149 of I-75. Got some Chick-fil-A sandwiches. Got some fries. Probably share with Molly. And then I got some mac and cheese. You know how I go. I'm going to go ahead and rate it. It's going to be a solid at least 7 out of 10. It's going to be good. We'll catch up with y'all in a little bit. Maybe uh, another update tonight, if not in the morning. Um, and uh, we'll see this load go bye-bye. Bye-bye. You ready to eat? Let's eat. I'm ready to eat Toop up. I'm hungry. Got her broth here. And we're going to mix that up right there. And we're good. Where's that little dog at? She's up under the covers. Hello. Hello there, little dog. Good night. Good night. But uh, just a quick update. We are settled in. We are, as usual for me, parked on an off-ramp this time. Actually, we're on the other side. We're on the on-ramp. So we're basically right in, right on the outskirts of Atlanta, right where 75, we're actually on Forza, right where 75 uh, meets 285. This is as far as my clock could get me. Um, I tell you what, I, I w there's just so many things on the road. I wish you guys could see like everything. I want to share everything, but I can't. But um, it, it was an interesting day for sure. We really ran hard. Molly really did a good job of putting up with, with it, not, not needing a potty break or anything. She didn't give me any problems. Not every day is like that, but today was just really good for that. That was the good news. And uh, she uh, really worked well. So we're just hanging out. I got my YouTube going. I already took some melatonin. We're going to get some sleep. Good morning, little dog. Hey. It is morning time. We slept in and kind of eased into it. Uh, the traffic didn't look too bad at all, so we're, we're A-okay. We're actually getting a good bit of a head start. We're going to try to get there early, see maybe if we can get unloaded a little early. If not, we're not too early to where I have to sit around and wait a long time. But Molly is definitely ready for her little potty break. You can see we're on this on-ramp, and we're going to get out there, and I'm going to give her a chance to do her potty breaks, get that little dog exercised mm -hmm. i've been starting my morning my birthday morning matter of fact just uh listening to watching some bassmaster live kind of just just kind of waking up and getting a good little vibe of the day um first and she is going to let me know she's ready to go and then we're going to get on down here and make it do what it do and get home hey little dog we're here in uh atlanta at the pilot getting fuel big things happening big day kicking kind of listen to Bassmaster Elite Series listening to Bassmaster Elite Series on Okeechobee but uh, some delays this morning it's all good though but I will say Atlanta is a shithole and I can't wait to get out of Atlanta and get out of Georgia in general it's just a shit show but on another note we're one step closer to being home what do you think the weather that Hey, little dog. Hey, sweet pup. So we are here in Conyers, Georgia, basically like a big recycling place. Not right by the house. It's actually literally about a mile away from where I park my trailer, drop the trailer so that I can drive just the truck itself home. And uh, when you're doing this recycled paper, you have to hop on the scale. So they, it's all by weight. So when you get somewhere to either get the load or drop the load you got to hop on the scales and then when you leave you got to do the same thing it's a busy site a lot going on molly is definitely wanting my attention relax we got to get on the scale look at that i whip out the camera and she is all over she's ready but we are one step closer we finally got where we're getting unloaded i just uh had to pull around 
and wait for a phone call and then I back into this little deal that little ramp and they just off they just offload you from the ramp and then after that once we get unloaded which is a full load so it's gonna take them a few minutes we're gonna go up here to the left uh, hop on the scales again grab my paperwork then I got to send my paperwork and do my stuff that I need to do real quick and then we can go ahead and drop this trailer and call it a day we're one step closer we're getting there we're almost there all right it's part of the job and on the birthday I gotta do it we're gonna get up in here and sweep this thing sweep it clean sweep it clean we will check in with y'all in a little while all right final step I'm gonna send in my paperwork but we've already dropped the trailer at my location where I dropped the trailer now we got about a 10 or 15 minute ride home already done the post trip so now I just got to send in that paperwork and then we're home for the weekend got four days off we'll be back on Monday today's birthday we're just gonna relax have a good dinner be with the family uh, good cake and uh, just try to enjoy today um, watching a lot of Bassmaster Live still listening to it as much as I can and then uh, we'll be listening to a lot of that but I got stuff I want to do but we're gonna take it easy and enjoy the weekend and enjoy our time off too got got some good stuff be talking to y'all soon thanks for watching say bye to them close it out thank you so one of the cool things of being a truck driver it's nice when it comes holiday season or birthday you know everybody enjoys gifts and presents but you know most people get their gifts throughout the days and the weeks that they come home as a otr truck driver we get to enjoy a christmas several times a year where you come home and you got packages so i got these left to open i got some gopro stuff here i got some fishing stuff here we'll show off that stuff later got some other packages a bunch of them i've already opened and cleared it out there was packages on the bed packages on the messed up chair that i still am working on and i got some nice pillows you gotta refresh it i love pillows you gotta refresh it a lot of those pillows are too flat they're gonna be going in the camper or going bye-bye and then you gotta have two sets. You gotta have some for the house and you gotta have some for the truck. You gotta have some for the camper. You gotta have some backup. You gotta have some for the chair because the chair is messed up. So, uh, there. It's cool stuff. Package over there. I got some paperwork to work on. I mean, this place here was filled up with envelope stuff I need to check out. And that's one of the cool things. It is fun, you know, getting home. And it's, it feels like Christmas every time. And I enjoy that. To come home on my birthday, it feels like I got a lot of gifts. To come home near the holidays, as an adult, it feels nice. You come home, all the stuff I bought, it's all my stuff really, but it feels like Christmas. It's cool stuff. I do enjoy that a lot.